Hello friends, in this video we are going to see one numerical on PID controller parallel form. This is the problem statement. In this diagram, this is an error versus time graph. Based on this, we have to plot PID controller output with respect to time. Assumptions given that KP we have to take 10 value of ki is 2, kd is 0.5 and p0 is 0 that is the controller output is 0 when the error is 0 this is the PID controller which is parallel form so for this controller signal that is u is written like this this is the equation for parallel form only for a series form there is a different equation so kindly note this equation for parallel form so let's see how to solve this numerical for easy understanding with the, that same image is kept here so that you can understand better and this is the equation for parallel form and these values are uh, given in the numerical statement so uh, first of all as far as the error plot is given so we can see here from 0 to 1 uh, in a slope and curve is changing this line is this output is changing in a slope from 0 to 1 at 0 it is error is 0 at 1 error is 1 percent from 1 to 3 when time is 1 to 3 second the error plot is constant which is at 1 it is 1 at 3 it is again 1 and from 3 to 4 at time 3 you will find that the error drop down to 0 and beyond 0 beyond 3 it becomes a 0 so let's see for all the time plots all uh, what are the value of u that let's see so this is the at t is equal to 0 first of all we are going to solve the case between 0 to 1 so between 0 to 1 the first a is when t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 the value of error is 0 so to know the value of u that is the control signal we have to determine the integration of error and derivative of error basically integration of error is nothing but the area under curve and the derivative of error is the slope of line from this we can calculate this integration and derivative also so at time is equal to 0 area under curve is by default from this plot we can see that there is no area so it is directly taken as 0 as far as the line is concerned the first point on a line so here we can consider the slope so this point is x1 y1 and this point is x2 y2 so from this line y2 value is 1 minus y1 is 0 and x2 is 1 minus x1 is 0 you put this value you will get derivative 1 that is slope if you put this integration value derivative value and this con givens in the equation of u you will get the value of u is 0.5 for the uh, same time between 0 to 1 now the time is 1 for t is equal to 1 what is the change error is 1 percent ep is 1 percent and derivative as we have already calculated here that is the 1 percent so we have written directly here now the thing is we have to know what is the, what is the change in the integration so integration we have to calculate so at t is equal to 1 means this point area under the curve means behind this point this is the triangle right so we have to calculate this area of this triangle so these are the values and from this calculation we got that is a 0.5 area so integration of error at t is equal to 1 is 0.5 if you put this values in this u equation you will get answer is 11.5 now the next case is when time between 1 to 3 second so at t is equal to 1 you will find that it is a straight line there is no slope here right so the straight line 
which is horizontal one so slope by default it is zero so we are taking direct derivative of this error is zero and whereas integration so at t is equal to one the same area will be considered that is it that is a triangle only so that triangle area is 0.5 so you got the integration is integration of error is equal to 0.5 so put this values in this equation of u will get the value of u is 11 now next case time is 3 at time is 3 for time 3 error is 1% so as it is as i said it is a straight horizontal line so de derivative is zero now the change is in the integration so uh, for the time is equal to three we have to calculate the area under the curve so the first rectangle area is considered plus this triangle will be also considered so get the addition of this both areas you will get the area is 2.5 that is the integration of area that is the 2.5 put the values in the equation of u we will get answer is 15 now when time is greater than the 3 this is the period so for this error plot is error is 0 as it is straight line its a derivative is also 0 at integration so this is the point beyond 3 so beyond 3 what is the la behind area we have already calculated this is the 2.5 so we are taking 2 point by here so put this value in the equation you will get the value of u is 5 thus for PID in parallel form if you summarize for all 5 conditions in that case you will get the value of u is 0 0.5, 11.5, 11, 15 and 5 so with this uh, we have seen uh, how to solve the PID controller for parallel form now if you want to switch sketch you can use a graph on which t values can be mentioned on the x-axis and on the y u and plot the graph accordingly thanks for watching if you like this video subscribe my channel and if you have any queries or if you want some more videos more technical videos in the field of mechatronics you can write in a comment box thank you